viewers, Leo here for another video. As you can tell, I am playing World of Warcraft right now. And it's currently 6, or not 6, but 3 in the morning. Uh, so World of Warcraft, they have the weekly events, and this event, they reset every Tuesday. Like at 7 in the morning on Tuesday, or it said it's become something different. This one was, I had to run four mythics, which they're pretty quick and easy, because the people nowadays are really geared. But, I've just been kind of, re I forgot about it. Oh, oh geez, okay. Uh, I'm not going to go too much at all, so I'm just going to pop this video for this, because it's 3 in the morning, and I'm exhausted. I don't really want to hop on the good stuff. Please ignore the chat. It's kind of a vulgar speaking voice. Actually, so we can. No. These caves must lead to the legendary Uldir. The Titans constructed this facility after the fall of the Black Empire to run experiments on all manner of beasts. Who knows what secret it is? It may even have the answer to defeating the old gods. Yeah, this is like end game stuff, so. just words in the end, so why would it really matter if you say a bad word or not? Now obviously I'm not one to curse like hardcore style because it could be a child in the audience. And there's some like unspoken rule that you're not supposed to curse unless you're a certain age. Or you're not supposed to curse at all for some people. Like <coughs> I remember my science teacher, the first day of school, she said, I will treat you all in science, as long as you're in my room. And you can't curse, it's like, what do you think scientists say when they like, stub their toe? Oh, psychopathic isotopes, I just stub my toe against the ceremonial surface of the biometric field. Scientists oh. are grown ups, so I'm willing to bet that I'll be saying a few vulgar words. <laughs> not like they're. not like they're designed better than any of us. I require a target. I think I should at least tell these people I'm recording. Just, you know, kind of like courtesy. Okay. 
good at DPS in all honesty. I've only ever seen the Frost Mage. I've seen like a couple of others, but... Uh, no, unfortunately I've already ran this dungeon, so I can't loot, but, eh, whatever. We will get to this point later on. As in, like, when we reach this level, uh-oh, I pulled. Oh no. <gasps> about this dungeon is that there's actually two mounts of gift and they're both rare. I've only seen ah, oh, I'm in pain. Oh god I died. And I lost my train of thought by dying. Yeah, see what happens when I die. I think I was Yeah, I was talking about mounts. So one of the mounts is actually one of I do not have a top. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a mount or a pet now. I was told both, I guess if it drops for us, which would I would freak out, but they did it even know. But it's it's like one of the the one of these feral blood swarmers. And I'm interested not to be this one. So like there there's one, it's a giant spider. Now if you're new to my channel, I am arachnophobia. I'm down there over here. Aw, don't be down here. I'm down to follow those creatures for eight days. Especially in those who are in hurry variety. I seriously don't. Like, the bigger and hurrier they are, it's like the more no I am. Like, I can't even. This one even says tarantula near me. I freak it. Uh, what is that name? Can there be like a, a more better name? Like if I'm out on a date and I see a spider, if it's like a little tiny spider, I'm like, oh, okay, no big deal. If it's a tarantula though, I don't know who's gonna scream it out, me or my girlfriend. Me, because I don't have a girlfriend. I would scream so loud that everyone in the world hurry. Yeah, this is tiring me. I don't do intelligent stuff. I'm tired. Most of the series go to sleep. Imagine how much work you get done if you didn't go to sleep. If you're just like, you know, coffee is in your veins, you never need sleep, you're 24-7 on the clock. Imagine how much work you could get done. Like, first of all, staying up all night when no one else is awake to bother you, that's a test to me. Can I sit the sunset every morning? Or every night. Sunset is beautiful every night. Sunrise is beautiful. Uh we're looking at this stage. Never need to sleep. If you have a big project that needs to be done, you can just get it done and go. 
I mean, you can do that now. It's not how big the project is, but that's not what I'm... What I'm trying to get at is super social productive. It never needs speed. Unfortunately, I still need to eat and go to the bathroom. So, there's a question I've been ha had for a while. It's not like a life or death, it's more like a uh, choose one thing. One of these three, and everything you do it again is eat, sleep, or go to the bathroom. We got all the benefits, you know. Like, when you're out on the road and you're driving, and suddenly, uh oh, you, you need to pee. Well, you're in the middle of nowhere. Guys, come on, stop it. You just, you know, water a few pants, but. I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not of the female variety, so I'm not sure how to do this for girls to do the same. I've never seen one do that. Uh, and then I don't really see that many people on the side of the road. Your body produces alcohol and you need sleep, and it produces enough. You get enough energy to stay away from eating. You get the sustenance. That's what I'm really getting at. It's like, oh jeez, oh no, we're not pushing these bugs. Yeah, we're gonna go for another dungeon now. Has <sighs> that been 15 minutes yet? I don't know at this point. I think it's probably around the 13 minute mark. I need, I need like a little burst of energy, you know, like. 
What's something that gives you like a small burst of energy, but afterwards you back to being tired? Cough? No, coffee just keep makes you awake. That's like saying heroin. Only not as bad for your body. There's probably some nutritionist out there though that's like, Oh dude, no! If you drink coffee, might as well take heroin too. Alright, free holds a real quick run. The way we do it. Oh hey, guilty. We're getting the guilds later. Yeah, there is a way to here. skip through most of Freehold. Don't worry, never fear, I will show you. <laughs> so if you thought about worrying, thought about fearing, stop. Need to repair our gear too, we're sending mustard over there. That's what it's called, by the way. If you look, if you look on our the right side of our screen, up at our, on the top right under our mini map, you'll see what looks like a suit of armor with a sword next to it. That represents armor, and our, the sword is obviously our weapon. If you look into here, there, uh, so uh. uh on the left side, you see... On the left side, you see... You did see... You see a tab. And on the top, in purple, you can read... You can read Smartly Plumed Cat. On the bottom of that tab, you see sell price, not important. You see green text, also not important. What is important is you see durability, 7 out of 100. When it reaches zero, the armor breaks and you no longer get benefits from it. How you repair? You go over into an uh, NPC. If you see that icon right there, where our cursor is, the anvil, you Click. I have many, many wares. Go over to repair all items right there. And boom. It costs have quite a bit. It costs pretty good gold. Don't need group. Alright, set it on over. Let's try it a bit further down. We'll get more of what you just saw there in a little bit. Where is the flight pad person right there? Fancy a cup. Uh, I think it's about long enough time for me to call in the video. So I will. Have a great night, viewers, and I hope you enjoyed this random video of me running out of time for an actual video. Tomorrow, I promise I'll make an, an actual video, not this nonsense of running around and me rambling. Take care, viewers.